Hey everyone, welcome back to this week's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can resize your designs into different uh, templates. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to create a design and then resize it again to use it on, on a different platform. If you are new here, my name is Steve from stevenjohnsy.com. I create videos a week so that you can learn something new uh, each week. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to go and use that uh, new information for yourself, for your small business, and even to help uh, those around you. Let's get into this, but before we do that, I'll ask you to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. I really appreciate your support, guys. Okay, let's get into this. As you can see, I'm on homepage of canva.com. So I am gonna find a design that I created so that we can work on that as an example. So I will go on to the design that I've made. Uh, this is the design that I was working on the other day. So I'll use this as an example. And uh, so just before you continue on um, this uh, tutorial, you can only do this if you've got Canva for Pro. So it's only in the paid uh, version for Canva. And uh, if uh, you don't have the uh, Canva for Pro yet, I will leave the link down in the description box so that you can trial Canva for 30 days and then uh, see if you like it. If you like it, you can go on and, you know, continue using it, subscribe and continue using it, or you can just go back to your free version. Uh, but uh, just to emphasize again, you can only do this uh, if you are using uh, Canva for Pro. All right, let's get into this. So as you can see, I got this design that I have already created. It's got, I think, it's got about twenty-eight pages or thirty pages. So I'm not going to use all of them. So I'm just going to um, create um, a copy of this and then remove some of the pages so I can uh, show you uh, just with the, uh, less pages. Uh, so let's do that now. So after you've created a design and then you want to resize it, the thing that you go to first, because you want to keep the original. Uh, file your original document so what you will do you can um, come uh, onto file here and then uh, make a copy I will click on to that to make a copy and then Canva will create a copy of your original document so that you do not um, um, mess up that one in case it's the is the main one uh, so what we'll do I've created a copy there and then uh, what I will do usually I decide just to um, straight away come out of the original uh, document so I'll delete that uh, so it's already saved so I don't want it on the page in case something happens to it so now we've got the copy here the first thing to do is to re um, relabel it so but it's already saying it's a copy so that's fine we can use that that's another uh, document you don't need to worry about that so we've got this copy now we want to make this into uh, Instagram or um, Facebook, whatever you like. So uh, it's up to you, even in, in, in the stories. But before we do that, uh, we can uh, delete some of the uh, the pages that we have here. So I will delete uh, um, some pages here. Um, I'll do this quickly, then I'll join you again. Okay, I'm back now. I've got five pages that I have left. Uh, so we'll use that uh, as an example. So what you're going to do now, uh, you've got your your design uh, you've got the name of the design so what you're going to do now is to come up with the top uh, bar here the top information bar here you say it says home and then file and resize so this is the button that you will find if you are using canva pro you will not find this um, section if you are using canva for um uh for free so what you do you go into that and then click on that and then you can if you've got a design that you want and you know the custom dimensions you can put them here as well whether it's in inches millimeters or pixels so you can do that but otherwise canva will give you some of the suggestions there that you can even uh, select from the um, the menu there so i will um, use uh, instagram and then i'll say facebook uh, as well and then i'll do the insta stories as well there um so i'll select those three and then we'll see so as you can see here uh, it's saying uh, uh, copy and resize uh, three so what is Canva is going to do is going to do the magic and uh, resize all of them into this and then open three tabs for different uh, templates so let's do that now um, we'll click on that then if you look at the top of the um, my uh, tabs there now I've got three extra tabs there so this is the original one that says copy of the full inspiration then if you come here and you see it says okay, this one. If you come here, uh, you see this one, it says uh, copy of full inspiration, but it also has Insta story on it. And this one has got a Facebook post. And then this one is the Instagram post. So one thing that you notice, as you can see, this is the original, well, the copy that we started with. And then if we go to um, 
the Insta story. You can see this is the um, the template for the Insta story, Insta story. But as you can see, your design is uh, kind of squished into the middle there. So, but it saves you time to actually start uh, designing a new uh, design from your first template. What you do now, you just need to resize and position your elements the way you want um, them to be. So you can just. Uh, um, put them where you want uh, that saves you more time we can even move uh, that up there um, and then uh, you know just make sure you posi position that um, and then we can go to the actual um, photo there and let's see yeah especially for the insta story you need to uh, make sure you do it a, a little bit uh, more than uh, let's say uh, facebook um you can even do your um your youtube um you can do your youtube uh, thumbnails as well so that's it so that's what you do and if you go to the next one you'll see it's kind of the same as well so you just need to juggle and just make sure you position them in the right place so that's uh the um the insta story so if we go to uh, now we go to uh, the facebook post you'll find that uh, facebook post is pretty much um almost correct you just need to do just a juggle just a little bit uh, as you can see yeah i'm happy with the way it is or um, you, know, you can just uh, Yeah, I'm actually happy with this. That's it. So that's the this one is the Facebook. So if you go to the next one, the cell that we did was the uh, Instagram post. So this is not far off from the Facebook as well, but this one we probably need to change it a little bit more um, because the sizes are obviously different with the Facebook one. Um, so it takes away the time that you have to do the you know the new canvas and then start the new template you know or find the design again and so it does help you um, you know speed up the process a little bit. Uh, but uh, like I said, um, this uh, is uh, available in Canva Pro. So if you don't have Canva Pro, um, you can't do this. So that's why I'll leave the link in the description box so that you can. Uh, try Canva Pro for 30 days and then find out if you like it or not. You know, if you don't, that's cool. And then if you want to uh, explore more of what Canva has to offer, then I think the Canva Pro for Pro will really, really help you. So as you can see, hey guys, these are the designs that we um, created from there. This is the original one that we have, uh, we had, and then we got it from there to um, the stories and then Facebook and then Insta story. So it gives you um, that flexibility there. So uh, if you've got any other suggestions or anything that you want to know, um, just um, check my other YouTube um, playlist. I've got a lot of videos uh, in the Canva playlist. So you'll be able to learn so much from that. I really, really love Canva. Uh, it's one of those uh, easy to use tool and it's free as well. Uh, the free version has got so much you can do with it. And uh, if you uh, want to try the pro one, as I said, the link will be in the description below and I uh, hope you enjoy it. But otherwise, I thought I would share with you guys uh, um, this uh, Canva trick that helps you save time and increase your productivity. I hope you've learned something new and you'll share this with your friends and family and uh, hopefully improve your small business as well, the design in your social media also. I, um, it is my uh, hope that uh, you know every time you watch these videos you come out uh, with something that you can uh, do yourself Alrighty, guys you take care and uh, if you've got any questions as always please uh, leave the comments down below and uh, you can shoot me an email as well or uh, contact me on my social media uh, platforms and i'll be happy to answer any questions you've got otherwise if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time i post a new video i really really appreciate your help guys and uh, hope to see you in the next one in the meantime you can watch this videos coming uh, but i uh, really really uh, hope you learn from them as well they have been really really popular so just uh, watch them as well and learn something new you take care guys thanks Bye.